If you know the enemy and know yourself in 100 battles, no danger. If you know yourself but not the enemy, one victory for one loss. If you know neither yourself nor the enemy in every battle, certain defeat. But who is this enemy? Before I reveal this enemy, let me tell you something. I've been trying to improve my communication, but in vain. I've been trying to improve my public speaking, but in vain. I'm a serial procrastinator. I've got anxiety on the stage. I've been trying to learn so many things, but after a couple of days, motivation, <whistles> inspiration, goes away again and again and again and again and again same questions so i wanted permanent solution and I had no choice but to dig deeper then finally i discovered the most toxic force the deadliest the biggest enemy of humans but before that let me tell you most of us have two lives the life we live and the unlived life within us but this force is standing in between. Force known to some and unknown to many. Resistance. I've recently given a detailed presentation on resistance in one of my training sessions. And I'm going to summarize this in the video, just for you guys. We all need self-transformation, right? We often get a call from our higher self even. Then we are all pumped up, we stay inspired at least for a couple of days. But after a couple of days, we slowly sink back to the old self, the same old apathy. Who's responsible? Resistance. Unknown to many, surprisingly. In fact, this resistance has been staying inside us for thousands of years. Many a time, so many people have told me I was all prepared for the interview, but I got anxious at very last moment. I've given hundreds of speeches, but I still forgot my content on the stage. My English is not that bad, but the moment I meet better communicator, I forget the words. Resistance. Resistance is playing its role. But many of us are unaware. It's responsible for procrastination, anxiety, laziness. In fact, it can take many shapes. So what can be the possible solution? These four strategies. Simple four strategies. How will you fight the enemy without even acknowledging it? That's the first strategy. Acknowledge it because resistance truly exists. The second one, understand. Because this enemy plays different games with us. From procrastination to anxiety. From playing victimhood to passing the buck. We often pass the buck, right? We play the blame game. I couldn't achieve because of him. Couldn't achieve because of her. From living mediocre life to self-sabotaging. Resistance is playing its game. The third one. Learn to challenge it every day. Of course, we all want to wake up early. We all, all want to be productive, highly productive every day. But we feel pain. The moment you feel pain, just understand. This pain is trying to resist resistance. So don't yield to temptations. In fact, take tiny tiny step. Let's say you want to go for a run. Tiny tiny step. Lace up your shoes. You'll feel like going for a run. Let's say you have a goal of doing 30 push-ups. Tiny tiny step. Do one. Then you'll feel like doing two. Then three. Then four. Take tiny tiny steps. Learn to challenge it every day. The fourth one and the most important one. It's like a bad habit. We all have been trying to fight these bad habits. In fact, we have to keep fighting these bad habits throughout the life. So you want to turn yourself into pro. Understand this. You can never ever eradicate resistance. You gotta keep fighting it till the end of your life. And if you keep fighting it till the end of your life, if you don't yield to temptations, if you win the battles on most of the days, you'll turn yourself into pro. So understand the game, understand the enemy, the art of war, you know. If you wish to be the new, burn the old you down. How will you become new without turning yourself into ashes? <laughs>